General Kenny, thank you very much for being here. Can you tell us what's brought you to International Fighter this year and how will it help you to achieve your aims? Well, Canada's had a fighter force for a long period of time. We've always been a, a key partner in many different coalitions as well as NATO and NORAD. So it's important that we attend these conferences to understand where we're going as nations, as a military, coordinating, of course, with the industry to understand what uh, is possible in the future so that we work together as one force. Because ultimately, when we do operations, we do work as coalitions and we need to be interoperable. So right now, Canada's frontline fighter is a CF-18. And uh, we've had that aircraft for 30 years. We have modernized it in the mid-2000s. So we're focused on making sure that we have a viable and reliable fighter capability to continue to do operations, whether it be at home with the NORAD mission or abroad, NATO or other coalition operations as we move forward into the future. And then uh, looking at what would be following the F-18 if the government so chooses. Beyond the government decision for your next generation platform, what do you see as the, the biggest challenges for you to overcome? Biggest challenges as discussed here at the conference is as we move forward to fifth generation aircraft or other capabilities, the cost goes up and uh, with that comes generally a reduction in number of assets that uh, nations can buy. And you have capability but there's also a capacity component to it. So understanding what you can get from a capability, what the capacity uh, limits are from all the nations and then how we can work interoperably, whether it be with gen fourth generation or fifth generation fighters. And then beyond that, just the support component, mission planning, the intelligence, uh, the maintenance components that go along with having a fighter capability. Talking of interoperability, what do you see as the shape perhaps for the future coalition environment uh, or indeed the shape of the, the fighter aircraft uh, community for the next few years? So as we move forward, it's becoming obvious that there's less options available for uh, future fighters. Uh, so what I anticipate to see is that very uh, thing whereby we'll have uh, the same fleet for many nations. Uh, therefore, we'll need to work together to ensure that we share lessons, that we interoperate, whereby we can deploy to locations and share spare parts, maintenance practices, intelligence practices, uh, logistical support going forward. But at the same time, realizing that several uh, fighters will be there for, you know, third generation, fourth generation fighters will be there for a period of time as well. So how do we interoperate with them and, and maximize the effect that we can achieve as a coalition? Do you envisage more training and uh, exercises in a, a joint environment? That would be the, the ultimate goal is, you know, obviously when we're doing operations, we're learning a lot and we need to take the lessons from that. But when we're not conducting operations, we need to be able to operate and exercise in a full spectrum environment whereby we can uh, go from a, a low level conflict to a high level conflict seamlessly. And that comes with joint uh, integrated coalition exercises. And I believe uh, firmly in that. And Canada has been a strong supporter of that. We in fact run an exercise maple flag in Canada which is a large force employment exercise bringing many nations in. Uh, Genesis is from Red Flag. In fact, it was initially labeled Red Flag North when it started up and uh, has taken on the same type of program as Red Flag. So we work uh, with that exercise, bring coalition partners in, and then at the same time we attend exercises such as Red Flag so that we can, uh, at the end of the day, be able to share best practices, make sure we can interoperate, and where we can't, uh, make sure we can seek solutions that allow us to do that. So from an operational aspects of Red Flag along to a discursive uh, forum like this one. Um, how would you perhaps summarize uh, the, the benefit for you to meet with other nations uh, and indeed the industry? So at this conference we have uh, key leaders from many nations, all of whom operate fighter aircraft. And it's important to, to hear from them to understand where they believe the priorities are and where they're going forward so that we can work together as mentioned. Then have industry here to tell us what some of the option spaces are and where they see the future going. Having that discussion face to face, uh, not just through briefings, but uh, it will allow us to ultimately understand how we can better uh, the defense of our nations and then work for the collective uh, peace and security of the world. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you.